Get a job in cybersecurity earning six figures by going to my boot camp is what you've heard. Or some other person selling you a course or selling you something. And so you all keep spending money, but a lot of you still don't have a job in cybersecurity. You keep getting certifications, but you still don't have a job in cybersecurity. That's because it's profitable to tell you what you want to hear. So I'm going to tell you something that's a little bit less popular and get you a real job in cybersecurity by helping you to get the skills that you need. If you're still listening to this video, then I can possibly help you. If you tuned out already, you're not hearing this, you're probably gonna keep chasing something that's not reality. So let's talk about this a little bit. So number one, most job postings that are paying six figures are gonna be requiring three to five years of experience and they're gonna be requiring Requiring some basic skills. So let me go through five basic skills that I feel like every cybersecurity professional who wants to become a high earner needs to have or be working towards. I'm also going to talk about what you will start at at the different levels based on what I'm seeing on average. So if this is helpful to you, then please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel once you've received the information. So first of all, let's get started. The first thing you need is you need some type of experience with endpoint detection and response and just an FYI I am going to be releasing videos showing you what I use every day on the job I purchased it for myself to be able to do YouTube videos and to be able to do training with you so that is coming if that is of interest please subscribe so endpoint detection and response is something that if you haven't heard of it you should not even be considering earning six figures in cybersecurity it is basically it's the bread and butter it's like the lowest common denominator for cybersecurity you need to have some kind of protection on your machine that is not based on like old technology like a signature, which is what antivirus used to use. There was literally a file on the computer that told the antivirus how to detect threats. That is all new products, which are not available in Target and Walmart, require artificial intelligence to be able to detect the threats. They actually can figure it out on their own and take actions and most of these are used by fortune 500 fortune 100 type of companies and the thing is you don't have access to it because you typically have to buy it from a company as a company number two you need to have some type of experience with understanding vulnerability management vulnerability management it is a hard word to say some people say vulnerability it's, it's I, I get it i used to say the same thing but anyway vulnerability management is being able to identify vulnerabilities that exist on a computer or device or software and being able to take the actions necessary to fix that hey well i can just install the patch that is one way that is the easiest way and that is the way that most people tell you but there are a lot of vulnerabilities that require you to know python no did i say python not python powershell or shell scripting powershell for windows computers shell scripting for mac os and linux devices those are some of the things that you need to learn first there's not a lot of python that you use when you're doing like general vulnerability management python is something you may do a lot of when you're red teaming or something like that but for the majority of the people that are going to be working as analysts python is probably something you'll get to as you advance in your career so learn PowerShell, learn shell scripting. Number three, Sims. Oh, well, I don't have access to Splunk or Elastic. Liar. There are free editions of both that you can run. I just worked with somebody three or four months ago and they were able to actually set up their own Splunk. It's free. Go to Splunk's website find the free edition if you can't find it you probably are not going to do good in the field because you have to be able to find things and you have to be able to like literally make solutions when there is not a solution so go download splunk set up a virtual machine did i mention if you don't have a virtual machine running on your computer you are already disqualified yourself from the field get a virtual machine up and get a windows box and get a linux cali linux box on it get a windows evaluation if you can't find that once again you're you're basically disqualifying yourself from being in the field so once you have those type of things i want to talk about some things that are a little bit less common so you all you've got your endpoint detection you've got your vulnerability management patching we did talk about the patches you need to be familiar with the process of patch management that means it's not just deploying patches because as you scale up with companies a patch is a very dangerous and scary thing because you're patching hundreds thousands tens of thousands 
hundreds of thousands of devices, point of sale, Home Depot checkout, Target checkout, all the type of things. You have to push updates to them because they have vulnerabilities that you detected with your vulnerability scanner. And guess what? When you push that patch, it could affect the operating system. It could literally bring down the company. I've done it. Lucky to keep my job. 2012, it happened. I did, brought down two thirds of a company. It's my story, it's my testimony now, but for most of us that have been in the field for a while, we have at times literally brought down lots of stuff. I know people that have brought down part of the East Coast of the United States. That's what you need to be concerned about. Also, talking a little bit about networking. Networking is definitely something good to have, but getting your Network Plus and your Security Plus gives you general knowledge. They do not teach you the skills necessarily to do the job. That's why I want to show you endpoint detection and response. I'm gonna show it to you and I'm gonna change your perspective. That is the point of this channel, to level set, to bring you back to the earth, down to earth, and to help you to really get the skills you need. Let's recap. We have your vulnerability management, we have your endpoint detection, we have patching. Something else, most companies struggle to keep track of how many devices they have. There are companies that have 10 devices and they can't figure out if they really have 10 devices. They may have like eight or six that have endpoint detection and your patching and stuff on it. So IT asset management is a huge thing that nobody talks about. And so if you're familiar with that, there are products out there, Exonius, Sevco, that allow you to be able to, to look kind of in a heads up display and understand exactly what you have because you can't protect what you don't know. And having a computer out there, one computer on your network in a traditional LAN type setup, firewall type, perimeter type setup, one machine that gets infected can be the jump off point for a hacker who literally deploys ransomware to your organization and brings down your entire organization, okay? So you definitely need IT asset. And for those of you that tuned out, good luck, because here's the jewel, cloud security. We don't talk about it enough. Everybody talks about all of these other things, right? But cloud security is huge. There are products out there that allow you to be able to aggregate logs from all of your cloud products. What are your cloud products? Gmail for work or whatever they call it. You got your Office 365, you got Slack, you got Zoom, you've got many, many others, Salesforce, all of these different platforms that are cloud-based. And if somebody gets into it, they can get access to your crown jewels because your crown jewels are not just in a firewall and your network anymore. Your crown jewels are in the cloud. But what's the cloud? It's somebody else's network that's out connected to the internet that you're getting to. So you're basically trusting all of your like precious data to somebody else and you're calling this the cloud. But it's just somebody else's network that's got a lot of good servers and redundancy, maybe, and it's out there on the internet. That's not necessarily like that safe because people mess up all the time. They misconfigure credentials. People's accounts get hacked. And when they do, people get access to your cloud environment and they get access to everything and your company is up on the news. Or maybe it don't because at this point, there's so many companies on the news that you have to like have a million dollars, two million, oh, sorry, did I say million dollars? Sorry, 30 million dollars, 30 million records or something like that to even make the news. So there are companies that are hacked every single day that don't even make the news. I hope that was five things. But once you have all of those things and you have experience in all of those things, yeah, you probably got six figures. But as an analyst, let's break it down. As an analyst, and I probably should do a separate video just talking about the salaries, but if you're still here, here's what you need to know. As a junior analyst, expect 60 to 70K on average, okay? As a analyst, somebody who has a decent amount of experience, maybe one to three years, maybe a little hands-on, maybe a little the theoretical, you may do 70, 80, okay? And then work your way up to 90. Now, if you have like really significant experience, like more senior level experience, that's when you're gonna start to make six figures. A lot of these YouTubers make their videos based on being in a place that has a really high cost of living. And so the pay is gonna be like really, really elevated. But if you're in like Alabama or Kentucky, or Florida or Texas, you probably ain't getting like six figures out the gate, okay? So that's the reality. Stop believing in the hype. And if you want a real perspective, you wanna see the real tools that we use in cybersecurity, this is the channel where we are keeping it real. So anyway, if this video was helpful, I hope that you enjoyed it. For all the people that were like looking for like a quick fix, sorry, it doesn't happen, but I gave you some tips. I gave you something to start and I gave you some free tools. So I hope that you will take that, start leveling up, and then you'll get those six figures. Thanks for watching.